it's time for section 1.3. We're going to talk about rates of change featuring October. She's going to be very helpful with us today. Um, she's kind of got a freaky stare going on right now. But uh, we'll, we'll tune in with October every once in a while and see how she's doing. So rates of change, we, we deal with these all the time. My car gets 30 miles a gallon, something. Or I get paid $15 an hour. These are all rates of change, okay? So we're going to start with some definitions, some basic stuff, and then get into some more exciting stuff in these future videos. So let's start with this table. And this table shows the average cost of gas. And we'll call that variable C. And C is going to be have units of dollars per gallon. Very usual in the United States. And uh, these costs are adjusted for inflation. So we're going to try to compare apples to apples. And this is going to be T years after 2014. So we're starting at, uh, oops. Uh, these labels are switched. <laughs> we're starting when T is equal to zero. This should be T um, up here. And this should be C down here. Okay. Oops. Um, so we're starting when T is zero. That's going to be 2014. Zero years after 2014. We're going up to eight years after 2014. 2022. All right. And you can see that the gas was really expensive in 2014. And they got really cheap, relatively speaking. 2015. And then uh, even got a little cheaper in 2016. Over here. And then got steadily more expensive... Oh, no, it, it's, it's jumping around a lot, okay? <laughs> Shape's a little hard to determine. So let's just answer some questions. What was the average price of a gallon of gas in 2022? And again, 2022, 2022 is eight years after 2014. So that's going to be a T value of eight. So we just read, uh, read the table and say, this is our answer. $4.90 a gallon. Woo! All right. That's, that's the whole answer. How might we find an average change over time? Okay, well, average change. Well, we're going to talk about that really, really soon. But there's a few ways of thinking about it. But the idea is that the average change is going to be, well, how much did we change? And then how far did we go? So if you think about um, average speed, like in a car, you could say, well, how far, did, um, how far did we go and how long did it take? Just depends on the, on the units. So this question is going to motivate this video. So let's jump right into this definition. So a rate of change... And we'll often abbreviate it ROC because I don't like to write words. I like abbreviations. A rate of change describes how the output, our output in this case is cost of gas, how that output changes in relation to an input, in this case, time. And the units of a rate of change are output units divided by input units. Let's not worry about that second part too much. Um, so then in this question, we could say that an average rate of change between 2015 and 2022, I calculated it out, it's 1.91. So what would the units be? Well, the units are going to be the output units divided by the input units. What are the output units? I wish I fixed this table. The output units are the cost units, which is dollars per gallon. The input units is the time. Um, sorry, let me fix this. The time, which is going to be in years. The output units divided by input units is going to be dollars per gallon per year. Dollars per gallon per year. And again, to be very clear on what's going on here, these are the output units. And these are the input units. So what does this number mean then? 
This says that between 2015 and 2022, I'm actually starting to doubt my, I'm doubting my math. This is saying that it's on average, yeah, I'm really doubting my math. This is an excellent teaching opportunity. This says that on average, the cost of gas increased by $1.91 per gallon every year. And that's why I think this number is maybe not right. Because we'll get into the definition of what this is afterwards. But 2022, that's here. 2015 is here. So it's $1.99 was the total change. Sorry, $1.91 was the total change between these two years. But we'll get into the formula later. It actually should be a dollar and ninety-one divided by seven, because seven years went past. So it was a dollar and ninety-one cents over seven years. So it was actually only changing by about twenty-seven cents every year. So let's replace this with zero point two seven. Maybe I was tired when I made these notes. The idea is that every year in this interval. Gas prices changed by about 27 cents per gallon per year. So those are an example of how we can use the inputs, sorry, how we can use the units, units of the output over units of the input. And you can see that with some other examples. Maybe we're looking at a population of rats. What would their rate of change look like? Maybe we say their rate of change is they're increasing by about 40 rats per week. And again, you could see this is output units. This is input units. A barista could earn $14 per hour. And again, that's going to be output units. And the hour is going to be the input units. So you can really see how this, this kind of works. All right, the next one, a, a farmer could plant 60,000 uh, onions per acre. A car can drive 27 miles per gallon. Same thing, output units per input units. Let's get into the definition, and then in the next video, we'll do some more examples to make things a little bit clearer. The average rate of change, again, we talked about what a rate of change was. The average rate of change between two input values is the total change of the function divided by the change in the input values. And that's going to look like this. Change of the output divided by the change of the input. Just like rate of change. Um, but uh, we can also write that as delta y. This is a capital delta, and it just means change in y. Just shorthand. We may or may not see that more in this class. Change in y, and then the bottom is going to be change in x. Or if you look at points on a graph, you can also look at it with this case. The second y value minus the first y value, the second x value minus the first x value. We'll make all this a lot more clear when we do some examples in the next video, but I just wanted to introduce these kind of um, ideas, all right? And most of the time in this class, we're going to talk about average rate of change. This up here is, is really just to get us there um, and, and for us to think about the units. So basically, we're going to be kind of talking about these two terms interchangeably. Rate of change, average rate of change, don't worry about the difference. They're going to be basically the same for our class. Let me know if you have any questions. Have a good one, and bye-bye. Uh,